What's up, everybody? Welcome to Past Present Playback. Uh, it's a podcast mm-hmm. with some some video <laughs> format to it as well. And uh, we're going to introduce ourselves a little bit. And uh, that's about all we got planned. <laughs> Solid script. Thank you. For a two minute video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who wants to go foist? Uh, Sean, you said you had something prepared. Oh gosh, on the spot again. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, I thought uh, you said you guys? had an outline. <laughs> yeah. Nah, what's up, guys? Name Sean. Um, for those of you who don't know us, um, we've we did have a previous podcast, but we're we getting did? back into it. Yeah. Um, did quite well actually in Europe. Um, yeah, it was like really popular in like Ireland or something. Really weird. Yeah. Um, John, we're who's just that Pokemon? To, we're just you here to chat. It. You can't even see it. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> huh? Huh? Whims is Scott. Ah, I said Sean. Oh, I couldn't see the freaking. <laughs> anyway. Like, is bad? I'm like... um, anyways, we're here to just chat about what got us into cards, <laughs> games. Just... Um, we're here to talk about God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like episode. to tell you um, about God, Lord and Savior. <laughs> but uh, we'll keep it simple and um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah. What's up? What about you, Zach? Uh, hey, my name is Zach. What's up, party people? Um, I've been on a few episodes of the uh, good old TCG Boys uh, videos, doing some Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh uh, openings for cards. Right, we did do a uh, Digimon. We did do a Digimon. We, we, did, like we, did, we did a Digimon. <laughs> we pulled like everything in the set. <laughs> <laughs> a lot um yeah uh, i've known these two half my life um done a bunch of stuff together mm-hmm. fun cool cool stuff uh we, we're just doing brief openings right now and then we'll talk about stuff i guess so that's how Sean all right cool kyle it. it's all you cool uh my name's kyle uh i have been doing way too much youtube stuff uh some was somewhat <laughs> successful some has been not so successful uh, but the channel is sort of growing a little bit. Um, surprisingly, YouTube channels. Surprisingly, <laughs> beating Zach to what he wanted to do for his channel. Uh, yeah. It got yeah. a couple of views mm-hmm. on that and a comment even. So you know. Oh, what was the comment? What did it say? It said the Mega Man X kits are like always bangers or something like that. Hell right. yeah! So you know. Hell most. yeah! I'll take it. And we got the we're like apparently we're like celebrities at Zach's old Best Buy the. One of the guys loves uh, loves our channel. Yeah, he oh, just loved it for Zach. The dude had like DJ. a crush on him or something. Oh, what a good boy that boy was. <laughs> and the, he said he uh, that guy should be star manager because uh, oh, every time I walked in there, the Pokemon cards would always be by the registers, quick and easy. Just how I like them. <laughs> just how he likes it. <laughs> but uh, I can't stop looking at my mouth talking. Yeah, and I'm just like it's so gross. It's like <laughs> mm, my teeth look like crap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. If you guys want to talk about uh, what got you into video games? I guess. Sure. Sure. Go ahead, Zach. All right, I'll go first. <laughs> um, yeah, video games. Um, God, you know, we had talked about like this being the subject, and I was really thinking about my early days mm. and like. I think I was trying to remember what came first for me. It was either one day my dad came home with an opened Nintendo 64 box crammed with N64 games in it. And I have no idea where it came from or how he got it. Mm-hmm. And I think it might have been a like fell off the back of a truck situation <laughs> um, with a bunch or... of games. It was a bunch of games. It was, it was the weirdest thing. It was literally just the cardboard, like, Nintendo box mm-hmm. rammed with video games. Like, I, d- I never crazy. had original packaging for any of those games. So I have no idea where they came from or how he got it. If he did buy it and just open them all, very weird. Crazy. But, um, crazy. But N64 would have my first console. Um, and then my first handheld, um, there was a day, I think this was after the N64. Um, but there was a day I was in my grandparents' basement and like 
there, there, there's just like a pile of shit in like. Oh, sorry, I don't know if we're swearing. There's yeah. a pile of stuff, junk, um, like in one corner of it, and I was mm. just kind of like going through it one day, just seeing what was in it, and I found like this like little square zipped bag that said Game Boy on it, mm-hmm. and I opened it up, and there was just an old like the black and white Game Boy and a bunch of games in there. And apparently, that was my dad's too. Um, and I was like, I think I think the the game I enjoyed the most it was Ghostbusters. Um, the original Game Boy or Game Boy Pocket? The original Game Boy Ghostbusters game, yeah. Nice, nice. It was a lot of fun. Um, but those are like my earliest experiences with video games. So it was probably like eight or nine or something. Back in the old 90s. Um, yeah. <laughs> better times. Um, simpler times. Yes. Um, agreed, agreed. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I probably played the most of Mario 64 and Star Fox. Those were like my favorites. Oh, awesome. Like dual barrel roll. Played them as much as I could. Dual barrel roll. You remind me more of your father. (laughs) The the (laughs) day I found out that there was an alternate route in the first level of Star Fox by accident. Oh, when you fly into blew my uh, mind as a kid. uh, Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And then, like, because like you could like I could always see like you could always see the map of the planets, Mm. and like there was always like four planets I could never go to when I was a kid, and I was like, what are these planets? How do I get there? And then, like, just randomly, a simpler time, like I said, 90s, simpler time, no no internet, no, all you hear is word of mouth stuff at school, or you just, yeah. like, happen upon it naturally. It was I'm so I'm telling pure. you, Mew is under that truck, yes. man. You just gotta, you just <laughs> gotta, still you, there. you just gotta He's use strength there. on every 150 Pokemon on the truck first, and you'll find it. <laughs> um... But yeah, just finding alternate routes, just stuff like that, just got me hooked into video games. Just like, you know, doing every side quest you can, just having a blast, messing around. It was the best. And yeah, been playing okay. video games since. Well, not as much lately. Um, fell out of it a little bit ago, but I'm trying to get back into it. Understandable. It's a, um, yeah, we're all busy, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, mm-hmm. being thirty plus. Hell Divers was fun for a minute. Yeah, that one week. <laughs> yeah, the, that one glorious week, like the, like the, the good Pokemon old, Go week. Good old days, Halo Three. We all we, we all would be on there together. Halo Three. The fact that, that good you, uh, Kyle, you and uh, Nelson bought me Halo Three for my birthday. Oh and yeah. And then yeah. had to go. Then had to go back to GameStop to get me a different copy because that copy was scratched and I couldn't play it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Best birthday present ever, honestly. So good. Back when I online like... gaming was at its finest, it was pure. It was uh, back in that generation of 360 and PS3. That was the best online. It was, it was good. I think it was good because yeah. we had more time and less responsibility. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's a lot of fun games we could be playing now, but it's just like, yeah, we're just it's, old bogeys. It's tough to uh, <laughs> find the time. I mean, I spent last yeah. year cramming games, and this year I just don't want to. <laughs> i was like oh yeah you there was so the many good guy games. last year dude there was yeah. so many good games and then like i was like all right sweet this year i can kind of chill and i'm like there's too many more bangers back to back i'm like nah i'm just <laughs> gonna watch anime or something this year i've just been watching shows that i didn't watch before so yeah no that's yeah i've, I've been doing that with anime too but we're getting off topic here that's we are someone else's podcast all right who's, uh, kyle, who's like, kyle what about you yeah, in, ahead, the, uh, in the video <laughs> games uh so for me, I was really young. I think I was like five or six. Oh my and God. I didn't even know what a video game was. <laughs> I remember my first console being the original NES. It was uh, my dad's from when my parents were dating. My mom had got it from my dad. Uh, oh. It was a yeah. hand-me-down type of thing. Uh, I remember playing a lot of, you know, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt. Um, there was like this other one. I can't remember the name of the game off the top of my head, but it was like it was like a robbers, and you shoot them with the light gun. Also, it's kind of fun. Hmm. Um, cool. and then from there, the next one that I had gotten, which was like a year or two later, I think. Oop, we lost Sean. Nope. <laughs> you still there, Sean? <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. Sorry, boys. <clears throat> Uh, so after that, I believe I had gotten Ooh, that's the your thumb. Sega Genesis. 
Uh, um, yeah, you know, fell in love with games like Sonic the Hedgehog, stuff mm. like that. You a big Sonic boy? I, I yeah, I mean, you a big Mega Man boy. You're a big Mega Man boy. I'm really big Metroid. Big big Metroid. You're a big <laughs> all of a boy. Let's be honest. I'm big there's another Metroid. One I was put in there. <laughs> You're big, big Metroid boy. And Zelda, because if you can see the Triforce I was gonna in s- there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice the Triforce. Yeah. That was the next one I was gonna say was Mega Man, because I know Mega Man, um, Legend of Zelda, because you've been on a hunt for Zelda games. Yep. I just bought another one of them today. <laughs> oh, which one did you get? Uh, I got the Four Swords Adventure for the GameCube. So didn't even like, know it was a GameCube game. Never yeah. played GameCube in my life. It was, uh, so basically, you know the ones where they have, like, multiple links that you can play? Oh, yeah, like the Toon, they look like Toon Link, kind of? Yeah, that was the first one of them. Oh, I think it was Spirit Tracks, one of those? Um, no, they, no. But there's one with a train that has all four of them. Well, that is called Spirit Tracks, but it doesn't have all four of them. Or there might be, like, uh, pads that you can do when you get an ability Mm -hmm. later on, but I can't remember. And I also, uh, I'm almost done with my Metroid collection. I just picked up Zero Mission nice. recently. So nice. I got How many do you have left? Sitting right here. Metroid Zero Mission. <laughs> uh, just uh, Prime 2? Oh, wow. Yep. How much is that going to set you back? Oh, no, I have one other. Federation Force also, the shitty uh, 3DS one that nobody wanted. And that one's expensive because <laughs> nobody wanted it. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's like 100 bucks or some shit. But um no uh Prime Two is like not that bad. You can get around like twenty thirty bucks. No. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, it's I just cost. That's like I feel like that's less than the cost of a good game like that, anyways. Yeah, I just haven't bit the bullet on it because it's an easy buy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Makes sense. Uh, but Sean, passing over to you, Bo. All right. Um, <clears throat> similar to Kyle, um, I got a hand-me-down NES for my cousins. Hey, well, NES boys over here. <laughs> um, the cult following, don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can still um, say you're a part of the Nintendo gang, Zach. That's that's true. <laughs> Nintendo was my first uh, first console. Broke it. And uh, came with those same games, you know, the basic NES games. Uh, came with golf. Came with um, Mario Super Mario Original Duck Hunt. Um, what else? What other games? It was. I don't know. That was so funny to me. You're like came with the you know came with the standard games. Came with golf. <laughs> <laughs> and then goes it, into Mario and. It's funny because that was that was before Mario Golf. That was just golf. <laughs> I'm just sure. With... Golf um, and had a dude that kind of looked like Mario on it. Yeah, he had the red shirt. He had the red shirt on the cover. Um, <clears throat> it was Mario's um, model. Came with. Super Mario 3, which is unbelievable. One of my favorite NES games. Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3. <clears throat> um, so I was playing that when I was like 10, maybe. or And then I remember when I was... No. Then I got the N64, um, which was my favorite console. Still is one of them today. Holds up today, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, star- same with Zack, Star Fox. Uh, Zelda Ocarina at time blew me Super away. Super Nintendo um, is better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> GoldenEye, all those awesome <laughs> games. I remember yeah, when we first, when I first played Mario Kart, my dad was, I was doing the tracks and I, th- I only knew of one uh, map. Mm-hmm. You know how the Grand Prix have like four maps in one? <clears throat> so I would only know like the first grand prix like the same four levels and then my dad showed me oh there's there's more <laughs> races you can do he's like but he would always play with me he's like did you know you can just choose a different grand prix i'm like and my, i'm just like okay uh we can do more because i was just playing the same <laughs> four tracks in mario kart there is over more over. to this game <laughs> let's go did um, you know that mario is in this game <laughs> what um so um, that was my favorite as a kid. And then getting the Game Boy, then I got the Game Boy Color, so I got into handhelds. And Super Mario Deluxe was unreal on the handheld. It was unbelievable. So awesome. Uh, Pokemon Red, awesome. Um, obviously, Game Boy Color was, that was my first handheld. And um, and then that's pretty much got me into it. But um, I'll never forget as a kid playing 
Zelda Ocarina of Time upstairs in the den on a cold winter night. The you know the Christmas lights are up or whatnot, and just get, get just exploring the game, like exploring the game, and just getting lost in that game. That's my uh, one of my best uh, childhood you know childhood gaming uh, mem- uh, great memory. I'm calling bullshit on that. <laughs> Why? Because you had to help It me should be it? no. It should be uh, when we were playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City late oh. at night, switching off every time <laughs> one of us died or drowned. Oh yeah, and that was awesome. And I remember <laughs> Nightfire bringing over a yep. double seven Nightfire on the tight roping, tight rope walking, uh, tight rope walking. Yep. Uh, on the snow, on the ski, on the on the uh, snow map. <laughs> Um, yeah, PS2 was, I got PS2 shortly after the, um, I think I got it in like middle school, like, yeah, sixth grade maybe, or the end of fifth grade, uh, like early 2000s, like 2001, 2002. I'll take your word for it. I can't, um, I can't wiki that. Um, <laughs> I'm looking but, it up. Uh, Fact checking him right now. Don't, don't mean to ramble on. Checks out? Yeah. I'm going to need but, you to set your, uh, your sites, uh, your sources via MLA format, please. Oh. But once I got, uh, I'll, I'll use footnotes. <laughs> um, um, but that's what got me into it. And then it just took off from there. Um, PS2. And then, um, and then I was, I went from PS2 to Xbox 360. Or no, I got no, the original the Xbox as well. I had the OG, yeah. Because I, I wanted to, I just bought that for Halo. Um, <clears throat> that's what everybody yeah, bought an Xbox. That's pretty for. much. Was Halo. Yeah, because that was, that was a console seller game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had it for PC. Oh, and real quick, I just had one more one more thing. I was into no, you're PC. Cut off. You're done. No more memories. <laughs> I was into PC gaming um, a lot in the early 2000s on my family desktop. Mm-hmm. SWAT 4. I used to play the hell out of that online. Uh, SWAT 4. It was like a ta- the first tactical shooter. Um, it was a lot of fun <laughs> online. Um, great graphics. Uh, I used to bring my old hand-me-down laptop to my grandparents. And play. Uh, remember that Windows game that came with the PCs? Hover. It was a Windows game that came with the PCs back then. It came with Windows ninety five, I believe, or oh, Windows ninety eight. That, that was like a with a helicopter, right? And you. Were no, no, it was the hovercrafts. The and it's kind of like capture the flag. You have to get to the checkpoint. It was the hovercrafts, Kyle. Come on. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Keep up. I remember um, solitaire. Yeah, but, uh, I remember. Mine yeah, too. hover. Hover was one of the. Uh, like three um, mini golf on my grandfather's PC. Remember a skiing, yeah, PC, a skiing game? PC gaming was fun back then. Um, Still is. Like Command and Conquer Generals and all that. Those strategy yeah. games I used to play. Got early access to the Beast Wars PC game from Hasbro years ago. <laughs> nice. That was fun. No, no idea how to play it. I had no <clears throat> idea. And then I would say I enjoyed the uh, Spider Man. Uh, you could like. Copy and paste Spider Man all over the place, and make like little like weird animations or whatever with it. I, I, I did that most of the time. Nice, had the Hasbro. But then after my PC era, my I would still play PC online games, but I got it into you guys. I got into playing with you guys on 360 because the original Xbox <laughs> Halo Two, we started playing that. That was like one of the first. Yeah. Right. I remember playing that um, with you and at least Nelson. I don't know, Zach. Did you play Halo Two with us? Halo Two, the original. No, Halo I never. I I didn't know you guys during the uh, Xbox era. It was uh, yeah. 360. And then we got into Halo. We got you in Halo Three. You and Paul would play with us. Yep. Yeah, Halo Two. I've never even played. Not yep. one time. No, not even on like the. Did you have the Legacy Collection? No. I did. You and you yes. and I played um the first yes, one geez. together, Halo One together. Yeah, remember that we, was uh, that was that really we, we, release. We, we, but then um, no, they did the the legacy collection where it came with. Oh uh, yeah, no, they, yeah, no, I never played it on that. Uh, I I bought that and basically never played it because when I bought it, the uh, the servers were so bad you could oh, never yeah. get into it. It's again, in a basically. really, I guess it's in a really good yeah. place now. I guess that's so, good. Um, yeah, I would be added, against playing it sometime, but they added uh, reach to it as well. Oh, yeah. they added reach. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have so many fond memories of of reach honestly more fond memories of the demo than i do the main <laughs> game but like that demo was so much fun uh what was the horde mode na- um called um oh that was so much fun firefight yes yeah firefight was a lot of fun yeah try, try to play Od- odst firefight uh with nelson in college was the worst yeah <laughs>
But uh, college connection. I would love the uh, sounds of the when in firefight when you would like go on a streak or something. You would hear him grunting like, <laughs> oh, I love when he's the loading the <laughs> when he's like when you're like <laughs> when you're like kicking some ass and you and Master Chief's like, oh yeah. <laughs> What is going on? What is One more time, what did Master Chief sound like? I think my headphones cut out. <laughs> hey, get to play it back. Play it back. Oh, okay, I, th- I think he says on the lines so, like he's like kicking ass and he goes, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you can come. It's my favorite Master Chief. No, you just you just hear him. You just hear him go <laughs> when he gets a good kill. When he gets. <clears throat> I yeah, only remember was... I remember the announcer just being like, you know, like when you get a kill and he just Double calls kill, out whatever. Triple kill. Yeah. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> yeah, you guys play <laughs> Kill Apocalypse. Um, kill was that one? Yeah. I never you guys play either. you guys play Infinite? Infinite at all? Nah. Yeah. Uh, I, I only played it for like a half second, but no, I never play. played Infinite. No. Yeah, I only played it uh, for a little bit when it first came out, and uh, it's not, apparently it's, not it's good it's now. Not, it's not a terrible. Just... Yeah, it's not a terrible. If especially if you, uh, it's free to play if you don't have um, live or uh, or um, PlayStation Plus. Well, it's not on PlayStation, so that'd be. Oh right, right. It's Microsoft. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had an Xbox Live subscription in like four years. All right, so coming down to we got like we got like twenty five minutes left or so, but um, already already besides, saying to wrap it up. <laughs> wow. Besides besides, videos, I mean, um, the timer for me into? just hit the thirty minute mark. It was recording for about seven minutes before we started. I don't know where we're at twenty five, but okay. Um, what got you guys into um card games? Or oh, collecting? I mean, the viral marketing from uh just children's cartoons the the rotted my brain as a child i I wake up one saturday morning and here it's time to do do, 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 do. i'm sold my guy uh (laughs) just influenced ruined my life influenced by other people influenced by other people i started with uh magic actually uh for a very short time uh i was collecting magic because i used to go to like one of those um early ymca like programs Church where you camp. get dropped off for like the first 30 minutes before school oh, starts yeah 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 i um, never my, my, i had some people at school who did those too and uh there was a um, there's a kid who was like yo check out this card game and i was like cool what is it he's like magic i'm like cool how does that work <laughs> and he proceeded to explain to me i never understood it but i started collecting some of the cards to try to play with them play with them once and then he was like, yeah, when I win, I get to take these certain cards. And I was like, cool, I'm never playing this game again, if that's what happens. Oh, you got <laughs> bullied and played and yep. swindled and Schmiddeldorf. Yep. My God. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so that made me afraid to ever want to play the game again for a while. Yeah, no, that's that's how you uh, that's how you turn people off of a game. And then I um, um, ended up getting into Pokemon next big pokemon craze i actually got into it before the craze was happening because <laughs> one of the cool guy so it was it, this is how it went uh second grade i remember this very very well second grade one other kid that was a friend of mine was like yo you gotta check this out um it's called pokemon it's gonna be this next crazy thing he's like my dad works at hasbro um so he got me some packs so you gotta check it out. So I picked up a couple packs. I was like, oh, these are kind of cool. And I forgot about them. And then, like, I summer came. Pokemon became a craze. I come back. Everybody's got the cards. Everybody's trading. And I'm like, I need to start buying packs now. <laughs> That's so awesome. And then, um, you know, a few years later, Zach was like, here, spend money on this. And uh, that's how I got onto Yu-Gi-Oh. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? First off, it was way more than a couple of years later. <laughs> Even though we had probably lived across the street from each other for that amount of time. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Um, and never knew. Nope. Uh, but uh, no, yeah, you guys, we would hang out, and I just had those stack of binders next to my uh, bed, and then you and Nell just finally got a little too curious about them. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, oh this seems kind of cool. And I was like, yeah, let's all play. And then I made decks for you guys, and then told you to spend money. And don't forget, Kyle, don't forget about Kingdom Hearts. 
I know you bought those too. <laughs> Listen, I just buy you got cards. Fourteen jasmines. I have a problem. <laughs> we all do. Um, but yeah, the itch, uh, the itch that never goes away always scratches. No. no, um, that cardboard no. crack, dude. The latest yeah. set that had come out, not to get off track too much, but and mm -hmm. it's a good set. It's a good set. Good set. I fully regret giving Paul that card. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I fully regret it. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> I'm just seeing the value of everything I pulled just plummeting. <laughs> That's the one card that I pulled that value did not plummet. Yeah, the quarter it's century. Holding where it was. That, that quarter century that Nelson pulled. Don't Is that, that staying? It's, it's like 100, up? It's like 180 now or something like that. Yeah. Dang. He's going to retire off that. <laughs> He wants to sell it uh, so we can buy the next set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be worth it. it. I think the next set's already going like for 120 right now on uh, certain sites. Um, no, free, no free advertising. Uh, <laughs> except for all of the Nintendo and Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff we talked about. Free advertising for that. Um, <laughs> support your local car. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, support your local car. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, for me, uh, it definitely started with Pokemon. <laughs> I don't think I ever asked for a set of Pokemon cards. I think my grandmother just came over one day and was just like, Pokemon cards. And I was like, sure, I guess. And um, I was weirdly enough, I was ne I never really cared about Pokemon cards. Like, like for like a minute I might have, and then I just completely fell off. And then like, I think it was that the same, same summer situation with you, Kyle, where it's like mm -hmm. summer happened everybody was just to like it was all over the place you couldn't like not do anything about it yeah i was yep. sadly more interested um remember lunchables the back of them they had like the little like cutouts you could do of the pokemon and they're yep. just like small yep. little squares i cared more about those and my school my class cared more about those like we were trading like we had little baggies full of them <laughs> like the you saw those 99 percent more than you saw actual pokemon cards hey, that's awesome though that's awesome then um then actually i went to digimon cards and that i deeply cared about um but funny enough not the actual digimon card game the weird like pojo digimon cards okay that like they were basically just like promotional art on card which i hate now for things but back then i was like it's digimon i don't give a crap yeah um this is the best I'm yeah. going to get. This is the best I'm going to get, and I love it. Um, <laughs> there was that. I was given Harry Potter cards. They had a trading card game for, like, a second. Okay. That was whatever. Um, and then I had watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Loved it. And then went to one of my... Uh, went to a cousin's house, and they had the cards, and I had no idea that the cards were, like, real at that point like i'd never seen like a commercial for him it was only ever the tv show yeah and he had the started at kaiba like set and i was like oh my god like th this is what i need <laughs> and that those were the that the only card game i ever asked for cards for was Yu Gi Oh. so and then okay. that's really it as far as cards go for me like there's a thousand card games out there yeah I just, a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a Lorcana, uh, that's the new one. Um it's been fun. You were playing Flesh and Blood for a bit. That was like fun to play. Very yeah. complicated. It's very complicated. Lorcana is super easy. It's basically dumbed down magic. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stitch has trample. <laughs> um But yeah, um I'm trying to think. I think that's really it uh, i had my uh i did have a charizard uh it got stolen on my birthday that's uh always going to be something i never get over and i'll never you actually trust another was? human being again i don't you know the... oh you don't i don't i don't know who did it because i was ready to go pick you up and go get it i would have yeah i would have fought someone but me too no <laughs> i had it I had, I had it on the top shelf of my bookcase behind a book someone stole it amazing uh but yeah it was Nelson. sean what about you um, i know this this is before everybody i, I know here um so the catholic school kids Oof. well my i had a friend growing up that got me into it and got into pokemon got into especially 
Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon, sorry. Pokemon cards. And um, John's the first gen was... Uh, the fossil set was... Um, I was into those. And um, set, in the... Um, yes. Yeah, there's three, I believe, in the original set. The fossil jungle, and there's one more, I thought. I forget. Um, yeah, there could be. I don't know. After, but but that's pretty much anyways, what it's uh, like. the, the base sets. Um, and we were, it was a long... The show also got me into it, the anime. Um, the movies. Um, those little tiny square um, holographic set you could get. It, I forget. I, I still have them. They're like, they were... I know what you're talking about. They're not, worth, the they're not worth that much, but because um, Kyle's seen them, yeah. You've seen my OGs. Um, my, I still have my binder. <clears throat> I got to get into it again, <clears throat> but as a kid, I was into the cards, but like, same with Zach, I was kind of, you know, it wasn't, it didn't phase me as much. It was like, okay, I'll do this. And then I didn't stick with it, but Pokemon Red was cool on the Game Boy Color trading in that game. I played that more than the actual card game, um, but um, with the um, link cables with your Game Boys, um, that was fun. But into cards, you guys got me into Yu-Gi-Oh back in you know, um, which I want to get back into. It's more fun me playing with actual live people than playing on oh, yeah. um, on a video oh, game. Definitely, I, I, definitely. Um, if you guys want to get, in, if you, I'm down to get into. Pokemon as well, the, the trading card, card game. game. Yeah, the trading card game for Pokemon's not not that it's bad. Fun, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to make decks for that, because I have tons of Pokemon cards. Uh, yeah, I was gonna you, say if someone wants to make me a deck, I'll play with it. I'll learn how to play. I don't know if I have enough cards. I don't know. Yeah, you might. You have a few. They're they're like you know it's mostly just like commons, like you know, like, yeah, yeah. Like wheels and stuff. Well, that's the yeah. thing. That's the thing about Pokemon. You don't need that. You know, one rarity Charizard. You can get a Charizard in different rarities, and it'll have the same effects. It just looks different. Yeah. Um, so I might make some. Take deck that, for, Konami. Uh, yeah, exactly. Zach, how about this? You make me a Dino deck, and I'll make you a, a Pokemon deck. I'll make you a Dino deck. I made a guy <laughs> the Dragon Champion deck that Paul used that absolutely ruined me and Kyle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that with the credit plant that Nelson was using was just. Um, <sighs> but yeah, besides, <clears throat> we got our revenge, Kyle. <laughs> Yes. Um, besides that, the grandest. Um, but what did it cost? It cost <laughs> us think. so much. <laughs> it was like one in the morning, and he just wouldn't let it end. He, he would it. not he accept won. it. He wouldn't let it go. No, he's like, we could do something. Like we're like, you can't, please. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, what else was a kid? Um, wasn't really into. Dragon Ball always caught my eye, but I'd never... I um, had, like, one or two packs of Dragon Ball. It, even now, yeah. I still don't understand that game. They just, like... They they have their own, like, um, online version now that people are really enjoying. Um, yeah. But it's, like, I think that's even different from, like, the main card game. Like, they have, like, yeah. bosses that they have that, like, do... Like, I don't know. I've been <clears> watching some videos on it. Like, it looks... It's interesting to watch. I don't think I would enjoy playing it. But the like everything, uh, yeah, it's tough to. One. Like everything, it's tough to find the time to. I'm, yeah. I'm mainly I'm mainly into video games right now and um, some some cards, but I'd be down to play with you guys again. <clears throat> what are you playing um, right now, Sean? For games, video games. For video games, what are you playing? Um, MW3 online. Nice online, online multiplayer. Not as much Warzone. Con. I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> don't you're gonna laugh at this, but. Um, since I got my Xbox Series X down in the basement here in my man cave, I picked up a copy of that one for because it's cross platform. So upstairs, I have I was scared to bring my OLED TV down here since we had the water problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Now it's un, now it's under control. Um, so my PS my PlayStation's upstairs, my PS3 and my uh, PS5, and I have MW3 for that. <laughs> and then um, mainly I play 2K NBA 2K on the PS5 online, but downstairs i play um <clears throat> i play mw3 mostly but i have uh, my xbox 360 slim which plays the whole pretty much the whole xbox collection so i can play backwards compatible xbox and 360 and then the series x will also play xbox one games that i can you know 
so pretty much <clears throat> I'm content down here with just the 360 slim, which is pretty small. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Everything's up high, so in case it does happen again, it's just the cords that would get. <clears throat> but I'm working on this weekend getting the getting the um, power strip and the cords elevated high too with everything else because if you oh yeah no but, definitely. But I I have it limited. I just have my music down here, CD player with my albums. I love. I still I'm a stuff guy. I still love physical media, but. I also, but I, but I also like the digital games because you can get better deals. So I'm not totally against digital, but if I'm going after like a new release, you're going to pay the same regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'll get physical if I had to choose it, but it's so stupid now because when you copy it, you have to freaking copy the game and then install it. So you might as well just get digital because you have to, instead of copying the disc, it just installs directly to your hard drive on what, whatever platform you're using, whatever console or PC. But that's pretty much it. Um, and I I have my N64 and everything and my Sega um, Dreamcast and everything all wrapped up. Uh, cords are tied up to it. It's not plugged in. But if I do, the, I will not make that mistake again. I have two consoles down here, and I'm watching them. They're elevated. And I have two TVs down here elevated. Did not bring my OLED TV down here. I'm not risking that. <laughs> um, but I am very limited to what is down here because of the water. Because I'm so nervous now. But I watch the weather like a hawk on my phone. Um, <laughs> but um, but I mean, there is a plan. Um, we had a contract to come out. I'm not going to bore you with that. But <clears throat> we got it. We got it fixed. Uh, it's better now. But there's nice. always a, there's always a chance that it could happen oh, yeah. again. So I'm just oh, yeah. watching what I bring down here. There's, and everything in, is in my other side of the basement on shelves so i can always put it in totes and then take it down if i want it okay but but uh um, yeah what about what about you guys are you still playing anything or yeah what are you playing kyle um nothing new really i mean i should be playing final fantasy uh rebirth but i just haven't been playing anything on the playstation um mm -hmm. uh, literally right before this podcast maybe five ten minutes before i was playing player knowns battlegrounds with paul Oh, nice. That. nice. Actually, I, I hit Paul up to play um, Fortnite again. If he wants to play this week, I was thinking about it because the zero build is fun and it's free to play. Because I don't think yeah. Paul has um, I don't think Paul has has live or anything. Mm, um, no, but he you, plays it on PC. Yeah, he can play it on PC. <laughs> yeah, um, and I don't think you need online on PlayStation to play because it it's free to play. Yeah, so Paul, um, Paul doesn't have um. But Paul sticks to PUBG and the, yeah, um, and the uh, yeah, yeah. Fortnite was fun, yeah. Online zero build though. The build is just too much for me. It's people, I think it's cheap. Because people just, well, you I can't think it's jump, spin around, and build an entire tower below your feet in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, um. Yeah, Fortnite's fun. Um, have to have you guys over to play cards one time, or I'll show you my games that are down here. Like, I love just having the whole Xbox uh, play, you know, access to it down here. Like, with just mm -hmm. two simple consoles is fucking awesome. So, I'll sorry, my language. Sorry. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> the fuck into the say? swear jar, <laughs> Kyle. I need you to make a uh, a graphic, the swear jar, and then uh, you know, yeah, put some like uh, put, put some money right, in there. Yeah, right, right there. Boop. <laughs> I got one. Um, he has one. You have two. <laughs> oh, and you guys should come over and play some um, some uh, Mario Party. On, yeah. uh, I have the new one for Switch. Party. Not the Super Mario Party. The the one that what's it called? Um, the other one, the new one. Uh, I don't remember. It's the better Mario Party of the two. Super Mario, Switch. better Mario Party, Mario Mario Party Party Mario. <laughs> Yay! Where? Yeah. All right, Zach, you playing me? <laughs> oh, I'm just playing a little old game called uh, if Final you, Fantasy Crisis uh, Core. If <laughs> you, oh, if you said Xenoverse Two, I was gonna walk out of this fucking room right now. <laughs> I was going to, but I haven't played it. 
I, 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 so, all right. Well, I was gonna talk about Final Fantasy Crisis Core for a second, but this is you brought up Xenoverse too. Like, I <laughs> Me and you brought it up, but might as well. Yeah. I mean, I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. We've been playing Xenoverse two since 2016. Um, still has new content coming out soon. They got next um, gen. It's getting next gen. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's getting uh, at the sometime in the next couple months. It's getting a uh, <laughs> next gen oh. release. Um, I I rebought it on the PlayStation Five because I didn't. I wanted. I kind of just want to like stop using my Xbox <clears throat> in general. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically only there to play like physical discs. <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah, but uh, as that's all I was gonna say for Xenoverse uh, Two. Um, you guys still play um that oh. Uh -huh. You mentioned earlier, Zach, that um, game that was fun to shoot. Helldivers? Yes, yes. No, I haven't touched it. Uh, I think after like week two or three of it being out. Um, okay. I got subconscious it was one of those things where after it... I stopped for a week for a vacation and I was like, I'm way too low level to compare to everybody else. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> nah, you could have hopped back in. You were really good. You his thing with you, Kyle, your aptitude for those kind of games are so flipping high. You... <laughs> Even at a low level, you can perform at a higher level. <laughs> like, yeah. Like when when we were when we were all playing together, and you had like I don't know like a couple levels on me and Nelson. You like the survival rate of you versus me and him was insane. Like you're like just watching you like just like dip and dodge and just go all over the place and like just survive <laughs> was insane. So you you would have been fine. You would have been fine. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, other than that, uh, no, I was playing Crisis Core, you know, just another, like, 18-year-old game. Um, <laughs> hey, but it's the remake, so it counts. But it's the remake! Um, <laughs> and once again, and you know this, you called me for my filth the other day when, we were, when uh, you and Nelson were arguing over which Soul-type game I could play. Um, and you were like, he can't play Elden Ring, he's gonna get distracted too much. <laughs> That's what this is doing to me. I'm just right now playing the missions. Not so mm -hmm. I'm not playing the story. I'm playing like the little like soldier missions. So I'm just doing that. I think I'm on chapter five or six of the game, and I, I'm like fifty percent done with like the soldier missions. Yeah. I mean, it just gets me crap, and then I forge stuff, and I, I've been on a forging kick for things, where I'm like, I just want to get the stuff to make the stuff. I just hate that there's no cause. Final Fantasy, <laughs> super cool game, really cool, has zero customization, ultimate co like alternate costumes. They have like swords. They have like four swords. Yeah, they do. And that then for, like they'll have um, FF seven slight very yeah they'll have very slight like variations of said swords, but like. <laughs> disappointing like i want to like <clears throat> get a really cool sword and i want to get a cool costume and those games offer none of it i'd have to play like monster hunter or something and yeah. that ship is sailed um uh, speaking of these uh, he's getting to a monster speaking of these i'm sorry guys uh, but the we should go to pax east, east again yeah Check i've never been to pax east it's a lot of fun because it's fun because it not only sneaks up games, on just, me yeah because and i was also like I just came into my head like when you when I went to that before COVID it was like right before so it was what like 2019 or 2020 it was, yeah, like, it right, was, before. It was, it was right, right, right before it was right before like no, a few weeks down. right what, it was before what, what, shit hit the that? fan it's usually in like Swear jar. March <laughs> um, so that would have been right at like right when COVID started yeah it was that like was weeks so, before the shutdowns yeah. started happening but that was so much fun for me it because great. it just took me out of reality i'm in an environment where it, where all everyone has <clears throat> conventions are like that are awesome for me because that, that's what anime takes you, was for us takes you out of real and like you see people just in the game rooms like sitting down like talking in like a community and i just want to stay there for like a month vacation and just play video games at that building for like all day with these mm -hmm. people like those are the type of people that i want to be around you know like <laughs> It, it was also a great yeah. way to just find out about games you may never have found out about because you're like walking around. You go, "Oh, let's play this cool demo." And I drank so much Mountain Dew out of those vending machines that day. The the game fuel. The uh, I drank like a whole like gallon. Like I cut back. I on drank soda so much um, soda because of those cups that just get the refill. Yeah, the refills. Wild Bills. 
yeah the, the wild, wild bills. bills it's so good yeah it's so bad for you but it's so good you just get oh, free well, we should on mountain dew we should do that um sometime right turns out here <clears throat> i'll have to keep an eye out for when pax comes around again but one of the days i was a little sad didn't get to go this year um especially because um matt pat was doing a presentation one of the days the game theorist and he uh retired this year r.i.p so at least yeah, semi-retired he's, he's, <coughs> he's he, still... he shattered himself into five different pieces and now they're the ones that do the theories yeah he's got yeah like the four other four other channels one of them he's still kind of doing the uh they're like gt live which is their live stream channel because he doesn't have anybody to replace him for that yet uh i've never guys watched want to go a there. single video of his um it's good it's really ed- a lot of educational stuff um at least in the mm-hmm. earlier stuff and just became literal just theories on fnaf forever and ever and ever yeah that's the one thing i've heard recently I, i'm so out of like all that stuff that like mm-hmm. i've just yeah, recently to... heard that he did you guys ever consider a horror convention <laughs> No, probably not. I don't. I don't think I have that same love that yeah, you guys have for the horror community. That's all right. Not for everybody. It's an acquired taste. It's just like there's not many I like that come around us. Just yeah. There's not many around here. They're mostly in the Midwest or um, California, mm-hmm. <clears throat> West Coast. Yep. And then. Like every time, I always say I'm never going back. And then cool people show up again. But Rhode Island Comic Con. Rhode Island Comic Con. Every time, every time I think I get out, they pull me back they in. Pull me back in. God, yeah, that that last RI Comic Con that you, myself, and Tiger went to, uh, that that was a nightmare. And then I went one that time after that. Went with uh, Chrissy and Zara once. Where's and... Peter Cullen? Who? I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's in the basement. Maybe he's on the other convention. Maybe he's just upstairs. <laughs> uh, Did you get to see Jason Momoa? God. Did we? I didn't. Uh, I think your back was turned. He came out one of like. I think when, it was because you were you and Tiger were like so defeated trying to find Peter Cullen and um who, who else was there? Crap. The other guy. Uh, hold on. Uh, holding. Oh, nice. There it is. That's awesome. There it is. Looks like you're hugging Me your dad. <laughs> nice. I fucking wish he was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Swear jar. Anyway. Um, but yeah, like he came out because they were getting him. He was going to go out to go on like the stage and like the stadium. Yeah, area. they were him up for Aquaman. Yeah. And um, he <laughs> came out through the door we were standing like right next to with just like i, I remember you saying that guard. but i just yeah i didn't see him <laughs> i was like wow i'm like feet away from jason moa this is crazy <laughs> <laughs> just randomly he just comes out of this room i'm like this is magic <laughs> i love when we went into that basement where they had like the celebrities and it was just a bunch of black tents they're like nobody gets to see these people nobody yep. you don't even know if they're actually in there or not <laughs> like oh oh Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we lost Sean again. <laughs> no, he just he pulled I'm the slick maneuver. You. I'm just showing you the um the, the setup. setup right now. Nice, yeah. very nice. I love the Corona. Yeah, the Corona box is very good. Oh, the CDs, nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, I yeah. Like I said, I'm a st- I'm still a stuff guy, but I do. Don't get me wrong, I'll listen to streaming, but um, I'll listen to streaming, but I'm not against streaming. I'm just like to you know. Same thing with like collecting comics. Like I like to have CDs and albums, you know. Like, <laughs> no, I, I stopped collecting graphic novels for the most part. Uh, yeah, but this is for, my, well, I should say for a long time. Can you guys see that? New... What was up? Oh, sorry, Zach. Go ahead. I was gonna say that. Um, I did in the last couple of years. I completed my Berserk collection. Oh, nice. I yeah. completed Diamond is Unbreakable, and um, okay. I'm one volume away from the hardcovers for Full Metal Alchemist. That's uh, after that. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll finish the Gundam manga one because I have like five of those. So that might be the next one I try to complete. And after that, I don't know what I would collect after that. But like, yeah, like American comics, I've just fully stopped collecting. There's too many, too much. Yeah, I'm very mm-hmm. picky in what I grab. I got the they did a they finally released like Spider-Man India. 
Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I grabbed that one, um, nice. and then I've been for manga. I've been collecting Jujutsu Kaisen, mm-hmm. um, and Oshinoko. Which one's and Oshinoko? <clears throat> it's um, so it's about this uh, idol singer, and basically mm-hmm. her two children, who are reincarnated from other people, who are like fans. Oh. Of all right i didn't see that coming it's really good uh check out the first season it's awesome the first episode's a movie because uh they needed to cover so much because if not it was just going to be your typical idol but there's like some crazy shit that happened in the last like half hour remember son dome oh god i do (laughs) i have all that i have all that all of it you got them all (laughs) i have all that what a time what a, what a time summer of 2009 what a time <laughs> that was like my first like mature adult yeah collecting oh hey, there it is it's gordon. One, one million views million views gordon the real the real gordon the third the fourth podcast host he's late gordon what's your he's favorite super video game late. What's, your, what's your favorite video game <laughs> hey whoa put that away you can't put that on youtube <laughs> the swear jar in front of that um, <laughs> um yeah we can do comics a whole nother that's a whole, whole thing <laughs> i still have comics you, that you, never even put away put i was me. gonna say you 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 and i have the the 2012 saga uh and dude, saga just the to new go 52 just, kyle the new 52 quick. Just to go very quick, yeah, the new fifty-two of one hundred and fifty-two thousand comics, yeah. <laughs> um, My guy bringing home one hundred and twenty-five comics a week. I'm so glad and sad at the same time when they killed off Spider-Man. It was Doc Ock because that kind of also killed my desire to want to read comics. Because <laughs> I was spending That's like a... sixty to eighty dollars a week on freaking comics, yeah. man. You were you were you were going off, my friend. Like I was, I was spending like half as there. much as you were. I do I do want to collect Saga now that I think it's done. I don't know if it's done. Is it done? It came back for a minute and then it came then it left again and I don't know if it's restarted since then. I I've, I've been I've been off the I recently just caught up on like the last like 8 months of comics I haven't read. Yeah. The new Ultimate Spider-Man has been freaking amazing. I I need to read it. I need to read it. It's only like it's like 3 issues right now. I think the fourth issue just like dropped. Okay. But yeah it's it's really good i mean it's just it's a typical like they're hitting the the dad vibes type of thing it's just, you know i've I've seen the i've seen previous one and one else yeah. we are so we're so off topic right now uh, yep 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 yep, yep. Mm. That's, oh that's... no sean your, your your mic's off or something <laughs> i was gonna say one more thing there you go. <laughs> when we um when i showed you the tv i guess yeah. can you guess one of the 360 games over there just guess. Uh, it's, I'll give you a hint. It's one. Of, it's one of Nelson's favorites. Gears of War. Nope. Halo Three. Nope. You don't have Halo Fable. Three over there. Well, no, no. I'm trying to. I'm thinking of a different game. Um. Oh, game Nelson's that you're thinking favorite. of. That's over there. Um. Yes. It's a. Oh. It's, it's a favorite of Nelson's. I know what it is. And we said Halo Three. We said I know Gears of War. I, I said it Fable. Is. I know what it is. It's is a, it a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. No, nope. no, no. It's it's an RPG. Ninja Gaiden? No. It's an RPG. Devil May Cry? It's nope. it's it's made by uh Bethesda. Oh, Skyrim. No. Damn it. I, oh, Elder, what? Elder No, El, no, the, the Elder Scroll, the other one, the other one before it's Skyrim. It's a uh, game he used to play online. I'll give you a hint, it's a fighting game. Oh, what? oh, 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 your favorite game too. You and Tiger. Oh, Transformers? No, the other no, one. No, it's a fighting game. Oh, Soul Calibur. Jesus. There you go. Cristo, Ray. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Soul, Soul Calibur. Literally Soul where Calibur. we met Tiger. Soul Calibur 4 is over there. <laughs> oh, with good old Darth Vader and Yoda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the uh, the Secret Apprentice. Yep. Five was really Man, when game Man, when, when game still felt so new. Oh, mm. my God. That game just like... Also, Kyle fondest I, i've said i've said it to you before fondest memories i have from like high school and like the summer going over to your house 
and switching off playing Gears of War 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, going through, Ooh. like, and, like, having it, like, playing it in your living room and whatnot, like, <laughs> was so much fun. Uh, what was that? What was that other game Unreal that Tournament? was Gears of War? Was it Unreal? That's what it was, Unreal Tournament? I mean, I think it was Unreal Tournament uh, 3. Oh, it was a hoverboard game, yeah. or whatever. And it was, like, in the arena shooter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was, that like, was un- Unreal Tournament, like, 3 or 4, yeah. Yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Oh man, those those were those were fun times. Yeah, those, those are the times I hope I think about when uh, I'm in the nursing home. <laughs> uh, we sports with the with the little one. Uh, we, we we bowling. Yep. Yeah. Nobody, <laughs> nobody ever bowled the correct way. Yeah. Nope. Just fling it around and throw and get a strike every time. Yep. <laughs> I gotta head out soon, guys. But um, what else you want right. to cover? Um, I mean, I don't know. We did a, we did a pretty good job yeah, chatting, yeah. shoot shooting the shot. Okay, okay. Buddy. Um, calm down, dog. Calm down. Calm down, <laughs> down, dog. Um, Hear him? but uh, yeah. No, I mean, this has been fun. I enjoyed chatting with you guys. It's always yeah. good. Definite. God. Yeah, Sean, you and I, the only video that you and I have done before together was when we raided the Pokemon. Oh, yeah, wow, we should yeah. do more. Um, we should do more openings. I want to do tier lists with you guys. Yeah, That's what I want to do. You do I want to have lists. the screen open, do the thing. Dude, I the, do buff the buff boy. The buff boy. The buff boy. Stop it. Uh, I, I want to do that with you guys. I want to do... Um, yep, there's like, we can like... Is he peeing? Oh, um, <laughs> there's another thing. It's like um, it's like we can guess. Uh, it's like guessing games or something like that. Like I think there's like there's like six or seven like um, uh, screenshots from like video games basically, and like you can guess on each screenshot, and like the next one's the next hint basically. Mm-hmm. I think that would be fun for all of us to do together. Yeah. Um, we do tears. We could do yeah. Good ideas. Yeah, I want to, I want to do more fun tier listing things and whatnot. We can do video games, we can do card games, we can do TV shows, anime, whatever the heck we want to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're. Um, I'm glad um, we're finally doing stuff on the channel, the three of us, because I think yeah. Zach brings. We never opened cards together. I want to open cards with you too, Sean. Yeah, yeah, because Zach's Zach's awesome. Um, not only genuinely, but <laughs> um, for cards, cards just <laughs> well. genuinely. <laughs> yeah um cards as well he's uh he knows more than me um you can make fun of me uh butchering the names too <laughs> i mean you know there's only a thousand plus pokemon and i think the yeah. last like 300 i don't know the names of so anything from uh the new set i, I don't really know their names i mean honestly i, I really want to say like past gen 4 i don't think I, like uh i'll call it gen 5 gen 5 i could probably name the majority of them and then after that i'm just yeah, I know the starters, and that's it. And then whatever I nickname them. Yeah. Was Sun and Moon? Was that Gen Four or Gen Five? Sun and Moon for <laughs> three. Sun and Moon. Okay, now I'm gonna make fun of you. Um, <laughs> Sun and Moon is like, it's like Gen like seven or eight. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, we're on nine. Was that nine? Was the latest? I think 10? we're on nine. So it's probably it's probably seven. Oh, um, I don't think we're on uh, Gen Ten yet. Oh man, I hope they do something good for Gen Ten. <laughs> Real yeah, quick, right. um, for Ben Ten. Yeah. Anyway. Real quick, Arceus is one. Yeah, Sean. Arceus. 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 Oh, Sean you're playing Arceus? Arceus. Yeah. Nice. I, am, I want to play it. I just have to yeah. beat the second DLC pack for mm-hmm. uh, Scarlet and Violet, and then I also have to beat Shining Diamond. <clears throat> and once I do that, I'll pick up uh, Arceus at some point. At least you're, uh, at least you're prioritizing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The prioritizing is I've had the both these games for like uh, over a year now because I bought Diamond when I went to go visit my sister last june so i think i got past the uh i don't think i got to the first gym <laughs> yeah i did that for x yeah, and, uh black and white this is fun forever took me nice. forever. Oh, yeah all right guys well um nice chatting and uh yeah we'll do this uh do this soon yeah, yeah, do this absolutely. Soon. uh yeah, yeah. How, do, how are we how are we releasing these things how are we doing them with these bi-weekly weekly like what are we doing uh, I don't know, because I yeah, want to get a few in the uh, the old tank there before we start releasing. Ooh, a few in the old chamber. <laughs> yeah. I guess we could do weekly. I want to be able to play are... Russian Roulette, but every bullet is in the chamber, ready to go. Oh, <laughs> excellent. That's my favorite way of playing it, too. <laughs> I guess we could do weekly, because I usually work till 6 or 7. But... I, th- I think we all do for the most part. Like, or I work till 5 and get home at 6, so. 
Yeah, I usually work till I usually work at home and I usually work at home, but I have to go in a lot this week. But um, yeah, well, hey, we got hey this. We did the first one. Yeah, mm-hmm. we Definitely. did the first one. Now we figure out the kinks for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right you all heard it well, here. That is, uh, I think, the first episode in the bag. Boop, boop, boop. First episode in the bag. Sean, get your hands up in the air. Run around like you just don't care. <laughs> this is how we end every podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, by the time we've probably gotten a few recorded, this will be just a. Uh, we'll see you next week or something like that. And uh, yeah. sure. Bye, everybody. See you guys.